Hi there, Joe English with EM All Access, and today I talk with Amy Green of Ford about how they are reaching millennials through campus activations. Let's listen in to the interview. Amy, welcome. Thank you. We're here in San Francisco. We're at the EMS, the Experiential Marketing Summit. It's pretty cool. Indeed. Yeah. Great city for the event to take yeah. place in. Have you seen any, seen any of your product, any Fords uh, outside yeah, rolling around? Yeah, seen a few. Yeah, yeah. Seen a few. Yeah. maybe rode in a few, yeah. few uh, taxis around town yeah, and some of cool. our escapes, maybe. Cool. Very so, nice, very yeah. nice. You've, you've been trying to reach millennials, young customers um, for the Ford brand, and, and you've done some neat programs on campuses. Can you tell us a little bit about what, the, what you've got young people doing? Sure. So this last fall, we went to 10 schools across the country and held an ambassador challenge where we selected students and they competed in three different challenges, all marketing related, to kind of help spread the word about Ford across their campus. We gave the students a car, a Ford Fusion, and let them loose on campus. Campus. and what we got back was amazing. They created some fantastic content and really be embodied kind of what it is to become an ambassador for the brand. So, so here you're getting these young people that are real excited about social media to, to promote your brand for you, um, harnessing that, the power of that out there in the market. What kinds of things did they do? What what were these challenges like? What did you have them do out there? We had some fun challenges. One of them was a video challenge. So each of the students created a six second vine and about you know a day in their life with the Ford Fusion and on campus. And then they were asked to get their friends and their community and their campus involved to vote on them. And then we ended up liking the content so much we spliced all of it into a YouTube pre-roll and ran that to help drive traffic back to our centralized hub for the program. What kind of um, crazy things did the kids do? Do they do anything <laughs> interesting? <laughs> you know, it was really interesting to see because some of them really gravitated towards some of the technology mm -hmm. in our cars. We had um, one student group who loved the active park assist. They were from Austin, and so they were parking downtown a lot where it's really difficult to parallel park. Mm -hmm. And so their whole six second vine was about the the yeah. active park assist and you know we couldn't have we couldn't have paid for them to do right. that. Right. What know? what better way to talk about a product feature than to have a consumer talk about it rather than your technical person that you know, who's gonna believe what this person's saying. Here you got this really authentic voice out there in the marketplace. Exactly. Yeah. Authentic voice is what it was all about. Yeah. The whole campaign was really designed to encourage the students to use their authentic voice to tell the story. It was one of the big things that drove our design of the program was authentic voice and the ease of communication. So kind of bringing down those barriers to creating the content and interacting with our products. Yeah, what, what um, you, you mentioned to me before we started about Halloween. Yeah. What, what, do they do, what do they do around Halloween? So we gave the students, we, we called it a social scavenger search, and we gave them a set list of 10 uh, shots that they had to complete, and they had a few weeks to complete it. It, it was around Halloween, so one of the prompts was uh, dress up in your Halloween costume and use the Ford as your backdrop. Nice. And um, we had a group of students who dressed up as superheroes and made the car a superhero, and I thought that was kind of cute. That's really fun. Again, you've got now you've got people featuring your product, and they're going to spread it on their networks. Do you have an idea of what the reach of this yeah. campaign was? Like, how, how many people were re are you reaching? Yeah, yeah, so at the end, we counted it up, and uh, what we could measure was over 21 million impressions. And we had about 40,000 people visiting our microsite, creating 65,000 engagements. So it worked very well for our small targeted audience that we were really focused on for this program. And what about awareness and, and preference among these people? Are you seeing the meter changing? You know, what's, what's happening with metrics? We're seeing them become more positive on our products overall, not just the Ford Fusion that we gave them for the campaign, but the whole portfolio, that they're really reacting to our styling and our technology. And so that's exactly you know, what, it's, what it's designed to do, is to, to get them excited about Ford and to just come and join the Ford family. Yeah, so you'll keep doing this? Is this working for you? Yes, yeah, yes indeed. Good. Now, when you said give them cars. Are you giving them cars or well, giving them cars? it's more like a loan. <laughs> yeah. So they get to use the car throughout the program to enable their challenge and to drive around campus and and show people our products, try out the features for themselves. A lot of them really love the sync technology. So when we delivered the cars to them, we, we paired their phone with the car and showed them how easy it was to stay connected to their world through our product. 
cool. Well, it so. sounds like really exciting stuff. We're going to see more good stuff out of you, I'm sure. But thanks for talking to us today. Absolutely. Right. Thanks for Thank having you. me.